May the Lord bless everyone. Hope you all are having a happy Easter. I told you I would bring you the words of St. Francis of Assisi concerning what he said about the final Pope. Pope Francis, current Pope, chose the name Francis from Francis of Assisi. No one had ever chosen that name before. We've discussed how he fits in as Peter the, Ro Peter the Roman, Petrus Romanus, from the St. Malachi prophecy. His parents were Italian, and that is, fits in with Rome, which is in Italy, Roman. The baptismal name of Francis of Assisi actually had a middle name, which translated is Peter. Well, we have discussed that and identified Peter the Roman. These are the words of St. Francis of Assisi himself. And right before he died, he gathers his followers together and warns them. The time is fast approaching in which there will be great trials and afflictions, perplexities and dissensions, both spiritual and temporal will abound. The charity of many will grow cold. The malice of the wicked will increase. The devils will have unusual power. The immaculate purity of our order and of others will be so much obscured there will be very few Christians who will obey the true Sovereign Pontiff and the Roman Church with loyal hearts and perfect charity. At the time of this tribulation, a man, not canonically elected, will be raised to the pontificate, who, by his cunning, will endeavor to draw many into error and death. Then scandals will be multiplied, our order will be divided, and many others will be entirely destroyed because they will consent to error instead of opposing it. There will be such diversity of opinions and schisms among the people, the religious and the clergy, that, except those days were shortened, according to the words of the gospel, even the elect would be led into error, were they not specially guided amidst such great confusion by the immense mercy of God. Then our rule and manner of life will be violently opposed by some, and terrible trials will come upon us. Those who are found faithful will receive the crown of life. But woe to those who, trusting solely in their order, shall fall into tepidity, for they will not be able to support the temptations permitted for the proving of the elect. Those who preserve their fervor and adhere to virtue with love and zeal for the truth will suffer injuries and persecutions as rebels and schismatics, for their persecutors, urged on by the evil spirits, will say they are rendering a great service to God by destroying such pestilent men from the face of the earth. But the Lord will be the refuge of the afflicted, and will save all who trust in Him. And in order to be like their head, Christ, these, the elect, will act with confidence, and by their death will purchase for themselves eternal life, choosing to obey God rather than man. They will fear nothing and they will prefer to perish rather than consent to falsehood and perfidy. Some preachers will keep silence about the truth. Others will trample it underfoot and deny it. Sanctity of life will be held in derision even by those who outwardly profess it. For in those days Jesus Christ will send them not a true pastor, but a destroyer. And these are the works of the Seraphic Father, St. Francis of Assisi, Washburn, 1882. These are the pages they're found on. So these were St. Francis of Assisi's own words. Now this is a rendition of comparing Pope Francis to a rendition of Peter the Roman from an ancient image discovered in 09 in the catacomb of Santa Cicla beneath Rome. Well, this is supposedly an 
old rendition Peter the Roman you can compare it's kind of hard to compare but and he goes through a little more information Francis said Argentinian to Italian immigrant parents Italian Roman he was a patron saint Francis of Assisi of wolves, lambs, skull and stigmata promoted ecology Pope Francis the Jesuit there's your 13 number there's your 13 number remember I showed you all those 13's on when he was elected just like that there's first comments seems that my brother cardinals went almost to the end of the world and then you go through what I just said Pietro Peter it means rock final persecution of the Holy Roman Church will <clears throat> and Peter the Roman feeding his flock among many tribulations after which the seven hilled city will be destroyed the dreadful judge will judge the people the end Francis of Assisi was the first to pursue uniting Catholics and Muslims <clears throat> excuse me Sultan of Egypt during the Crusades peacemaker New World Order that's a little different thought but I wanted to bring you what I said I would in the words of St. Francis of Assisi himself right now the old boy is uh, starting out good that doesn't mean he'll end up good you know they got a saying it's not how you start the race it's how you finish it it's what matters in the end so with that thought again I wish everybody a fine holiday God bless you all Jesus loves you and if you don't believe in him you can let these words ring in your ears he believes in you and you've only got so many breaths of life given to each and every one of us and he gives you time to find him and to humble yourself before him and believe in him and love him like he loves you so you got the time to do it you just don't know when your time is up and until your time is up he still believes in you <clears throat>